Peggy Sprague came to one of our symposiums, which we hold annually, and she was very interested in what the Brain Imaging Center message was. And so she went back to uh, Bob and said, we've got to go over and, and check this out. And so then eventually they became members of the Brain Imaging Center committee. They became our angels. We were just about ready to shut the doors. We were at a crossroads because our equipment was outmoded and we couldn't really compete for major grants. And so we had to make an investment and didn't have the resources to make that investment. The Sprague's made it possible and they saw the value of looking toward the future and investing in the equipment that has led to us getting a series of major grants, which has allowed us to do, I think, a very important work in understanding neuropsychiatric illness. Without their generosity, the much needed research being done here at the Brain Imaging Center would not be happening. Their warmth and their love for the Brain Imaging Center is so very, very important to us, and we're very, very happy to have them as part of our organization. The Sprague's are important friends, not just because of the financial resources that they provided, but because of the wisdom they provide. They're members of our steering committee, and they provide advice on how we should plan for the future, the kinds of investments we might make, and also the kinds of projects that mean the most to those that are suffering from neuropsychiatric illnesses. The Sprague's have also been very important in doing public outreach. They got interested through a public lecture and recognized the value of the public understanding about neuropsychiatric illness. And they've endowed the annual Sprague Symposium, in which is a public outreach lecture where we have people from all over the world come and present to the public more information, the latest news about neuropsychiatric illness. This sort of foresight to support research for the future is key for what the Sprague's do. They look to the future, what are the kinds of investments in both their time, energy, and resources that will make a difference? And this is just one example. They've been very, very uh, instrumental in other philanthropy here at uh, University of California at Irvine. They have the Sprague Hall, which is named after them. So congratulations to you, Bob and Peggy, for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, what you've done for the Brain Imaging Center is only one example of the kind of insightful philanthropy that you've done throughout your lives.